a language test to study guide. So go ahead and get your study guides out. You can pause the video while you get it set up. Maybe be sure you have your name and your date on your study guide. Now we're gonna do our study guide a little bit different today. We'll do part of it today. And then tomorrow <clears throat> I will give you another video with um, some more parts of your study guide that you need to be sure that you're ready for for your test, okay? All right, so on your study guide, it says if there is no air in the form of the verb, write correct in the blank. You're just gonna write correct at the end of it. And then if the verb form is wrong, write the correct verb in the blank. Do not add or remove helping verbs. So we're just going to write our correct word, we're gonna write correct at the end of our sentence or we'll write the correct word at the end of our sentence, okay? So the quarterback throwed a long pass. Is there a problem in that sentence? There is, what is the problem? Throwed, so go ahead and circle throwed and at the end of your paper, or at the end of your sentence, write the word, what should throwed be? It should be through, very good job. Look at the second one. Have you brung your lunch money? What's, what's wrong with that sentence? It sure don't sound right. Brung, very good. Circle the word brung. And brung should be brought, very good. Have brought. So go ahead and write brought at the end of your sentence. Number three, it says Mr. Rowe's class done an impressive job. So something's not wrong or not right there too, my goodness. What is it? Circle done, because done should be dead, very good. Right, dead at the end of your sentence. I have never seen a more beautiful sunset. Or well, have seen. It works. So, so that one's correct, right? Correct at the end of that one. The ants attacked our picnic lunch. What's wrong with that sentence? There's something wrong. Very good, circle attacked. Attacked should just be attacked. Um, number six, Mrs. Kemp's class has ran the most laps. This is one that we hear said incorrectly so many times that it sounds correct to us. But has what? This is the past participle, so has, not ran, circle ran, and it should be run, very good. Look at the bottom part, subjects and verbs. Underline the verbs two times. Underline the subjects one time. Watch for compound verbs and verb phrases. Sherlock Holmes had been working on the case for months. What is our verb phrase there? Two helping verbs and, and then a participle verb. Had been working, very good. Number two, 25 visitors were in church last Sunday. Would that be an awesome Sunday in church with 25 visitors? What's our, our verb there? Were, very good. Number three, before today, Jessica had never seen or heard a woodpecker. What is our verb there? We're gonna underline had seen, heard, okay? Um, would you like another piece of cake? Think about it. Would like. Number five. Mrs. Pickett's class will not be going to rehearsal today. Remember the word not can never, ever, 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 ever be part of your verb phrase. So what is our verb gonna be? Will be going, good job. Number six, Jesus loves and patiently forgives sinners. We have a compound verb, he loves and Forgives. Do not underline and for your verb. Underline two times loves. Underline two times forgives. Um, number seven, Luke and Austin had been friends for many years. Um, so what is our verb going to be? Had been. Underline had been two times. Number eight, David Livingston was a great missionary and explorer. What is our verb? was, underline it two times. Number nine, this week Jason read Black Beauty and gave a report on it. We have another compound verb, he read, gave. Do not underline and, read and gave, but and is just joining them, it's not part of the verb. Um, isn't the band marching in the parade? I don't let this one trick you up. What is the verb? We have a verb phrase. 
is marching. Be very careful that when you are underlining, um, because the word is, is in that contraction, isn't. You have to be very careful when you are underlining that you only underline is. If you underline it all the way out, I'm going to have to mark it wrong. Why? Because an apostrophe T is the contraction for not. And what do we say about not? It can never, ever, 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 ever be part of your verb phrase. Okay? So is marching is your verb phrase. Now back up to section number one. Our verb is had been working. Who or what had been working? Sherlock Holmes. Underline it one time. That's our subject. Um, were. Who or what were? Visitors. Very good. Visitors is our subject. Number three. <clears throat> Um, had seen, heard. Who or what had seen, heard? Jessica, very good. Underline it once. Um, would like is our verb. Who or what would like? You. That's our subject. Um, will be going is our verb. Who or what will be going? Just class. Not Miss Pickett. Not Miss Pickett's class. Just class. Class will be going. Um, who, number six, who loves and forgives? Jesus, very good. Number seven, who had been? Luke and Austin. Don't underline and, it's not, not your subject. Luke, Austin, each, each underlined once. Um, number eight, who was in number eight? David Livingston, that is our subject. Number nine, um, red is our verb, red and gave. Who read and gave? Very good, that would be Jason, that's our subject. And number 10, um, is marching? Who or what is marching? Very good, band would be our subject. Good job, guys, and I will go ahead. Let me give you a few words that you need to know the plurals for. So go ahead and write these down, and then make sure that you know the plurals for these words. You need to know the plural for goose. You can pause the video if you need to. The plural for bus. The plural for I. For hero. The plural for knife. The plural for dragonfly. The plural for policeman. The plural for cap. C-A-L-F, cap. The plural for tax and the plural for monkey. Now, I will go ahead and write the singular uh, words on the board, and you can go ahead and copy them um, if you need, if you didn't know how to spell them. And then I will just end the video with putting the words up there, and you can pause it if you need to, okay, in order to get those written down properly. together on spelling words so if you needed the spellings there they are pause the video and I think they'll stay right there on the screen for you until you're done with it all right